Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Howdy ho guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear. And today we are here in the shop to cover a, an exclusive item. Never seen on any videos before. Okay, the one they leaked. <laughs> but this is the first review of the unannounced, not in stores, not in catalogs, Hercules miter saw stand i know you are all waiting to chomping at the bit to see the the big fight between the 12 inch hercules sliding miter saw and the dewalt but this is uh let's call it the pre-fight shall we <laughs> so a quick disclaimer as i was saying this is a pre-release product this is not the final edition uh, this is, we'll, we'll call it a beta edition, if we will. So some of the stuff may change. The uh, the branding on it, the the you know where the logos are and stuff, uh, they could change a bunch of it. But it looks pretty finished to the old bear here. I got to tell you that. But I also don't have you know full specs on it. Like I can't say when the exact release date is or what the price will be. Uh, I do have some information, but we'll talk about that later in the uh, in the video. But for right now, let's take a look at what they're targeting. And of course, as you always know. They, with this new stuff, they like to go after the DeWalt. And when it comes to miter saws and such, you know, especially on the job sites, uh, DeWalt seems to be the head of the pack. So, you know, they're aiming at the right target, if you will. And in this, they're looking at the, uh, the DWX724, the compact miter saw stand. And I've got one of these in shop, and we're going to be looking at them head to head to compare the two. But to be completely fair, you know, I looked at this, I even contacted him. I'm like, this doesn't even seem like it's in the same weight class. Uh, and I'll be honest, I think honestly, this Makita might be a better, a better comparable kind of product. It, it's more robust. It's got the built-in wheels and the handle and stuff. It's got the material roller, at least on one end, uh, the Makita does. But you'll see what we're talking about here. Let's, in fact, you know what? Enough of this. Let's jump into it, shall we? Okay, but first a quick disclaimer. As a lot of you know, Harbor Freight did send me this saw and this stand for free for evaluation purposes. They did not pay me. I've not received any other forms of payment or anything else. They just sent me this equipment free to test out. Not only that, they sent me this saw and this stand for free also. That's right, I didn't pay for either of these, so they're on equal footing as far as I'm concerned. That said, I would also never let something like that, you know, bias me in any ways. Let's be clear, that would affect our relationship, you know, the community, and you guys would just stop watching me if I became a shill. So you'll never see that here. It's not who I am. And even if you, for some reason, thought that the bear was like that, just common sense would say that obviously I'm not. But, you know, better yet, why don't you just watch and see? All right, just a quick side-by-side. -side. As you can see, they're basically the same style of stand. There's some other styles out there. There's uh, some scissor lift and some uh, cross-leg kind of versions. Uh, this is the simple, you know, four legs. They all kick down separately. The The main obvious differences here are that the Harbor Freight saw has wheels and the, uh, the material rollers versus just the no wheels and the skids on the DeWalt. One thing also that was significantly different is the way the saw is attached to the stand. Hercules saw uses this, what it seems to be, at least to me, a very robust locking system. Uh, it's, it's a full box frame. Uh, it locks down from the front. There's a safety release you have to press in on the side and then flip the lever up to release the clamping mechanism. Here you can see the clamping mechanism underneath. Uh, the foots that it can sit on also when you take it off and you put on something else and it keeps it level. But you can see there, there's a little screw right there, and that's how you adjust the tension. Uh, so you have to you have to adjust that first, uh, play around with it a little bit, find the right tension, and then you can use the locking me mechanism. That stays in place. Uh, you just have to adjust it to make sure that it clamps tightly. Here's the mechanism used by the DeWalt. As you can see, I mean, one of the benefits is it's obviously a lot lighter, uh, but it also doesn't have that two-stage locking mechanism. You grab it once, it unlocks. Um, yeah, it can be seen as a, as a good or a bad. The one thing I did notice is that, as you, as you can see there, you pretty much have to mount that all the way back. So there's a lot of tension on that. It doesn't seem much to the mechanism, but you know what? It probably works just fine. Here's the other main difference. The way you raise the mechanisms on the end, the end stops. Uh, the Hercules seemed very easy to operate with one hand. If you got something else going on, you could 
loosen the tension, raise it up and down. Uh, there's also the stop block mechanism on it. Very easy to use. Uh, the material rollers, very solid. Very, there's a lot of mass there on those. And here we have DeWalt's uh, solution for this. Yeah, it's a job site, you know, uh, setup, and maybe that's why it's not quite as accurate or whatever. The stop block I thought was perfectly fine, but the U bracket for raising and lowering it, you have to use two hands. No matter how hard you tighten it down, it still rocks back and forth. That's a quarter inch or better of play in there. It just, I was really, really surprised at the lack of quality on that, that end block. Now for doing the extensions on, on the Harbor Freight, the Hercules, you flip that up, you slide it out. One thing is because it has that nice, uh, that nice paint, that enamel kind of powder coating on it, it slides really smoothly. The DeWalt, it's got a great lever. All the levers and, and stuff, all the plastic components on these stands are great. But as you can see, as I'm pulling it out, it wants to grab and grab because it's just the, the bare metal in there. I mean, it works. It works fine. But it just had a lot better fit and finish on the, on the, uh, the Hercules. Here's something you don't get on the DeWalt. You get on the Hercules the uh, height adjustment foot. Uh, you have these nice big oversized paddles for ex you know extending and retracting the legs. Very easy to use. The ones on the DeWalt were fine. Not quite as big, but easy enough to use. Uh, again, the material on both feels great. It's some sort of uh, uh, glass-filled uh, resin. It feels kind of like a, a nylon 7. And over here on the end of the Hercules, you have this nice handle. Yeah, it's for the dolly configuration, but it's also a nice place to grab it just to move the stand around when you're when you're working with it. And on the DeWalt, you get... <laughs> yeah, no handle on the DeWalt. And here we have the Hercules in the dolly configuration. One thing I noticed in doing some research is the other ones that do have wheels, they don't have wheels this size. These wheels seem to be significantly bigger than any of the wheels I saw on some of the other stands. If I'm wrong, you know, make a comment below, but it makes it really easy to roll. And if you're out at a job site, that's going to make it significantly easier to, to get it to the spot to set it up. And again, those large paddles, as you can, I can just give it a little kick there, kick it down, lock it in place, step around. And this is with one hand because the other hand's holding the camera. And of course, I didn't have enough room, so I have to shove it around. So I'm not being gentle with this thing. And yet, I can easily set it up with one hand. But let's talk about what really matters, which is the stability with the saw on there. Here, I'm pushing the saw uh, forward and back, now up and down, trying to see how much flex we can get, and then give it a little bit of side to side. Yeah, all of these have some wiggle side to side, as you'll see. Here with the DeWalt, first we got the... Uh, up and down it's got a lot of flex forward to back i was really surprised i should say the the when you press it on the front uh forward and back it was really stable it was just as stable as the hercules and again side to side not only does it have a lot of flex side to side but the whole thing just easily moves it's it's one of the give and takes with a lighter stand versus a heavier stand now let's talk again about these end plates because i mentioned this before one of the things, one of my concerns is with it rocking like that, if you're not watching and you got a piece of, of lumber on here, you slam it into place. If you don't have that rocked all the way back, as I said, it's going to change. If you're using a stop block, it's going to change the length of that cut. And now let's say you do remember to keep it pushed all the way back. Well, guess what? Now it's not flat anymore. It raises that end up a little bit. So now not only if you don't adjust for that, is your sure your cut may be the same length but now your cuts gonna have a slight angle to it not a great angle but if you you know this stuff multiplies through you know many cuts and such it's something to take into account With Hercules nice roller there uh, very very sturdy and that end block is now you can see it's solid I wasn't gentle with it again I was really surprised at the differences between these two stands uh, the Hercules is just a lot more robust, has a lot more features. The DeWalt, you know, it's light, it's easy to carry. You know, it is what I think of when I think a job site stand. I'd almost see this as like, uh, you know, a, a framing carpenter kind of stand. 
and some and the Hercules is something more a finishing carpenter would use. It, it's just got it's just more robust and it's just uh, seems to be better quality overall. But you know what? You be the judge. You let me know what you think about it. And yeah, I know. I promised I'd talk about it. When is it going to ship and what's the price going to be? Well, real quick, let's talk about the DeWalt. The DeWalt is, I think it's just under 200 like 187 I think is the price I saw on it. So I don't have a definitive number on the Hercules, but what I can say is that I'm fairly certain it's going to be under $200. Even if it comes over a little over $200, you know, with coupon, as I like to call it, the real price is going to be well under $200. I'm, I am i do not have a definitive answer, but I wouldn't be surprised if they came at or just below the DeWalt price. Now, the shipping time, you're not going to see this uh, before Christmas. In fact, I think probably early to mid first quarter next year. Well, there you have it. Uh, I got to say, I was pretty impressed with it. It's kind of odd because so much of the stuff when they target DeWalt or some other manufacturer, they try to come in so close to the other product. And in this case, it's not even, you know, kissing cousins there with the DeWalt. It's a, it's a different product line altogether. It's much more robust. It's heavier. Uh, granted, it's a, it's a noticeably heavier stand. But when it comes to a miter saw stand, unless you're backpacking with it, I don't see why the weight would be that big an issue. It's not like you're going to be carrying it all that far. And with this, you got the wheels on it. And that's the other thing. I did reach out to the uh, the guys over at uh, HF, and I confirmed with them that, yes, this is designed to be wheeled with the saw attached. All right. The, uh, the DeWalt says specifically, if you're moving the stand, you got to take that saw off. It's not robust enough to handle the weight of, of a saw on it while moving it. Where there's the Hercules, you just lock the saw down, uh, you know, keep it from sliding around and stuff. Fold this puppy up, and now you got a dolly with your saw attached. How quickly can you set that thing up? And if you're lugging all that to a work site, you know, I would rather have it on a wheeled base like that with the saw dragging it across over to the work site rather than having to carry the, the stand over and then go back and get the saw. It just seems a better setup, but you know, everyone has their own taste, their own flavor that they appreciate in this kind of thing. And maybe it's not your thing. Maybe you like getting whacked in the head with a hammer. I don't know. I don't judge. I gotta say this stand, it really ticks all the boxes for me. I mean, of course, you know, the bear, I, I'm always partial to the, uh, the bear Achilles blue. Uh, I think they should change the official name to that. What do you think? We should, we should start one of those po online polls, see if we can get to change the name to bear Achilles. But, uh, no, I mean, the sliding material rollers, the nice solid stops, the robustness of it all. Uh, there's not much more you can ask for in a stand like this. The, the, the feel and the construction on it is great. I love working with this in the shop. It's It's been a real pleasure. But anyway, I know you're, you're waiting. You're going, tell me about the saws. Tell me about the saws. Well, you know, one more day, one more day. Friday night, uh, I'm hoping to have the video out uh, tomorrow by 6 or 7 p.m. So stay tuned. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you ring the bell so you get your notifications. And we'll see you tomorrow. Well, all right then. That's all for today. Take care. And as always, shine on. Thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to help support the channel, the easiest way is our one, two, three method. First, chomp that like button, give us a thumbs up, spread the word with a share, and subscribe and ring the bell. Remember, if you don't ring the bell, YouTube doesn't really believe that you want to watch the videos. But maybe you'd like to take it a step further. Maybe you want to go over to Patreon and consider subscribing to the channel. For only a dollar a month, you can become a Black Bear member and help support the Den of Tools. Also, YouTube now allows us to sell merch directly on each video. Yeah, if you scroll down below the video, right where you see the description, right below that, you should start seeing a little pop-up window that shows you some of the Denna Tools merch. Or pick up a copy of the Home Distiller's Workbook, your guide to making moonshine, whiskey, vodka, rum, and so much more. And we still have the DeBear shirts available. Links to those items, as always, are in the description below.